What's up, everybody? It is True Sage. Yes, it's been five years of me doing content creation. Thank you for the 6,000 subscribers. After all that, do will put on True Sage. But no, seriously, though, thank you all so much for 6,000 subscribers. I mean, honestly, it's amazing, guys. I don't mean it's like a broken record because every single time I hit another thousand subscribers, I add another video to the milestone collection of my playlist. I don't think you guys really comprehend how much this means to me. A lot of content creators out here, especially nowadays, are really just out here doing it for the money. Maybe they're doing it for the fame or whatever. But I'm truly just doing this because this is what I want you to do in life. I don't really talk about my own personal experiences that much because the truth is, I'm still a small content creator and no one gives a I decided that for the small amount of people who may care, this may be something valuable to you. I decided to discuss the realistic journey of what a small content creator looks like. So a lot of people have these expectations of starting a YouTube channel or trying to start off content creation and going from zero subscribers to 100,000 in like two days. It's been five years me doing content creation, five beautiful years. We just kind of talk to you guys about the realistic journey, my realistic journey being a content creator, and also other further things too in the future. So I first started doing content creation in 2019, June 16 to be exact. My dad's birthday, by the way. Love you, Dad. First video on the channel was Katana's Rage. Started off just pretty much doing gaming. The original roots of this channel has always been about gaming videos. My first year of doing content creation was what's the language? I'm, it was ass. It was it wasn't good. And honestly, I thought that everyone's first year of doing content creation was bad until i looked around and these motherfucking youngest and they first year doing content creation it's like they about six years in i'm like god damn so now i realized my first year doing content creation just horrible no those videos was good honestly it's probably like one or two videos that's actually good back then it's like watchable even then i think it's a little bit more of a stretch to say it's watchable <laughs> first year of content creation i really wasn't knowing shit i was still consistent but at the same time the quality of videos back then really wasn't that good matter of fact i didn't even have a real editing software i was editing on share factor on my playstation back then 2020 was the first time i started to introduce reaction videos and then in between that i also started to do skits as well 2020 i did reaction videos which the first reaction video i did on my channel was the deku versus naruto kakashi versus aizawa rap battle that video to this day is one of my most viewed reaction videos yet. And that's when I realized that, man, these reactions, they made me the move. So I just kind of constantly kept on doing reactions from there. But even though I was doing reactions, I was never really meant to be a reaction channel. The roots and ideas were still to be a primary gaming channel that also have to do reactions on the side as well. And put it like this, my most viewed video, my first year doing content creation in 2019, Fortnite video got 100 views. And I remember that goddamn day like it was yesterday, boy. I was at my god, nigga, I ain't ever been so motherfucking happy to work at Raising Canes in my life. <laughs> it was in my job back then, which was Raising Canes. And I remember it was closing early for like Christmas Eve or some shit like that. And I was like, boy, you would have thought I was gonna hit a million subscribers to wait for checking that motherfucking video. I was, I was updated it was at 70 views 80 views 90 views i'm so distracted updating my motherfucking phone trying to look at my views i wasn't even focused on closing we mopping the floors with floor water shit i'll use a hot grease that was in 2019 a year later in 2020 my monthly video became um anime thighs with over 100,000 views that's to let you know that progress is real i hit a thousand subscribers for the first time late 2020 and i think later on that year is where i ended up hitting 2000 the same year started having a couple of videos that was actually doing numbers by numbers i mean like 5,000 views 6,000 7,000 views 10,000 views and of course the anime thousand 100,000 views that was really the first time i was really getting um numbers like that 2021 was kind of an awkward transition period for me honestly i was kind of sort of transitioning into doing other type of videos a little bit um the biggest problem with 2021 was that i got burnt out in 2020 i ended up losing my job and i was just living off my college checks right and i just graduated high school in 2019 as well so i really just didn't want to do anything but focus on content creation right for the entirety of 2020 since i didn't have a job i was treating youtube like it was my job editing multiple videos every single day that was taking hours a seven day week i was uploading on average at least like 10 12 videos man it was editing constantly back then so by the time 2021 came and i finally got a job like around that march time period and i was editing like a madman still and working a job it didn't take long for me to get burnt out i got burnt out of content creation it got to a point where i was uploading 12 videos a week from like a month three months time period on uploading like one video a week man i ended up getting back on a saddle coming back into the consistency but when i did it was an issue because i i, I wasn't feeling it i, I was burnt out i that that passion and fury that i had in me it was burnt out bro i was kind of just going through the motions in 2021 a couple of good videos still did came from that though <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna see how long it takes you to fucking make this joke. <laughs> ah. 
<laughs> you got it, you got it, you got it, you got it. There you go. Yes, sir. Uh-huh. That's not <laughs> black people know I hate them. See, right, stop. Alright, we're done. Alright. Oh. I still was making progress as earlier that year I went from having 2,000 subscribers to 4,000 subscribers right and 4,000 was the max my kit at by the end of that year and one thing I can honestly say for anyone who wants to be a content creator is please pace yourself I've had words spoken to me by a great wise black man in the name of MC Vibes he said edit according to your time schedule and yes I believe so follow that if you start editing like a madman that's great but you need to pace yourself because you don't want to get burnt out and i really feel like me getting burnt out really kind of slowed down a lot of my progress because even when i did get back on the saddle i wasn't feeling it. i didn't have the energy to do better videos because I, I was just tired i didn't have that passion behind me then 2022 hit and then i ended up deep diving to streaming on accident i actually never really wanted to stream honestly i was always more of a youtuber but i was just streaming constantly because uh my good friend mc vibes went from a youtuber to a streamer and i was just going live to support him i really wasn't going live to actually get any followers to actually do any i was just live streaming because mc vibes was live and i was like shit while i'm here i might as well be live too he, mc vibes was in the military he got deployed and so after that it was a whole year where i pretty much lost my streaming friend and so it was just me I was playing for now security breach and i wanted to continue the series regardless if people watched me or not and very early on in me trying to finish that series i ended up establishing a very small streaming community right and that's seed never much streaming community trademark and from there i ended up focusing more on streaming than i was youtube but i didn't know anything about streaming i didn't do any research i didn't do any of that stuff i was just streaming for the pure love of the game man i was focusing more on streaming than what i was doing youtube i was streaming on youtube but the streams really wasn't gaining any followers or any kind of anything, really. Since I was dedicating so much time to streaming, but I didn't know anything about streaming, the streams didn't do shit. I kind of did get that passion and fury back to making YouTube videos midway through 2022. And again, advice to any young content creators out there, I probably would highly suggest for you to, to ask yourself a question. Are you more of a streamer or more of a YouTuber? And whichever one you feel like that is, Focus on that one primarily. Make one a primary, make one a secondary. Trying to sh make YouTube videos consistently, stream consistently, working a full-time job, and also being a college, you don't want to get burned out. But in late 2022, I ended up um, locking down and deciding, you know what, man? I think I'm going to actually give my full attention back to YouTube in 2023. 2023 came, that's exactly what I did. I decided that YouTube was the primary, Twitch was the secondary. It's not that I don't like Twitch streaming, it's just that this is what I did first, that's what I want to do. I still care about streams. I still stream three to four days out of, out of week consistently. Energy goes towards YouTube videos, though. Even though I stopped focusing on streaming so much 2023, that was when the stream started to do good. Especially the entirety of 2023, it was just me trying to focus on being way more consistent on YouTube and also still maintaining a healthy balance of doing um, Twitch. But went through 2023, I realized that, man, I've changed so much as a content creator. And this is one thing I think a lot of content creators struggle on. Who you are from day one is not who you're going to be who you are on day 376. As a content creator, you change. As a person, you change. And I know I changed. I uploaded a video in 2023 labeled, I've changed. <laughs> I realized that the channel was no longer based on gaming videos because the game videos I was doing was just were not doing good and the reaction videos were the one doing the, the better views so that was the kind of content I was focusing more on and I was like at this point I'm more of a reaction show than anything else and I'm gonna say mid 2023 I kind of had this a kumbaya session where I sat down and really did a deep dive review on my channel and I was like man I'm ass <laughs> the videos I was doing 2019 2020 2021 2023 and most of 2023 were just not good videos man and when I realized that a lot of the videos that I do were not good that's kind of when I realized that maybe that's the reason why I'm not growing at a faster rate so again advice for young content creators is that sometimes I think it's very healthy if you take a pause take a step back and review your own channel and ask yourself the question do i deserve more followers than what i have right now so i decided all right i gotta do better man i, I gotta up the quality i gotta do better bro but then i also kind of decided to go with a big channel rebrand i wanted to introduce something new to your channel two things one animated story time two around that time i also wanted to be a writer as well and i wanted to um write and create my own manga i haven't yet actually created i'm trying to take as much time as possible putting thought into that manga so that way when i actually do make it it's guaranteed to be good 
Some, a lot of mistakes the young manga writers do is to tell themselves, I want to be a manga writer, and they spend like three minutes thinking of a story, and then boom, they make the fucking manga like the next day. I am taking years to actually make sure this manga is good. But then in late 2023, I decided, hey man, since I did a deep dive on my channel, 2024, I think I'm going to put all these ideas to execution. I'm, I'm going to be better. I'm going to be better. And 2024 is going to be a way better year than what any other year has previously been. I'm not just talking out my ass. We have already seven months into the year, and I have already, statistically speaking, surpassed my 2023 2022 and 2021 version of myself already so i think that's but this year i do have some really big projects planned of the animated story time and the animated story time is going to be a lot bigger than what i actually think it is me creating the manga is a thing that also i'm um, trying to work on too it takes a lot of work we're still working on it okay it's just hard because the truth is is that i'd be tired bro i i, I work a full-time job I try to stay consistent on YouTube. I try to stream three to four days every week on Twitch. And then also at the same time, I work on my, because I'm a beginning, or I started drawing early last year. I've only been drawing for a year. So I'm trying to take time on working on my art. I, I want to make sure the animated story time is not drawn like poo. I got a lot of things going on at one time, right? Sometimes at the end of the day, I just be tired, God damn it. It's still a thing. We're still working on it. And that's just kind of been the journey of a small content creator. The truth about getting burnt out, the truth about having to balance um editing with your own personal life and it comes down to working a job when it comes down to doing other projects like streaming and stuff like that but i'm somehow managing to balance it all out and figure it all out i still work a job i'm not yet a full-time content creator but i'm still trying to drive for that goal hopefully by the end of this year we can um get bigger it's just been a little bit of a deep dive of the small but realistic journey of a small content creator and thank you all so much for six thousand subscribers thank you all for the five years i've been doing content creation never gonna stop never gonna stop never gonna quit i don't care if it kills me i don't care if um all the skin off my body has deteriorated and it's just me and the skeleton i'm not gonna stop until i fucking win if you guys have not already subscribed button please do that 7k is on the way 10k is on the way 10,000 100,000 and soon i will have that million anyways though um thank y'all so much for watching the video follow my other socials and have a good day if anyone want to be a future content creator keep on striving never quit